Hi guys, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about health, wellness, and positive mindset and tech that you can implement today in your life to work toward the healthy lifestyle of your dreams. So in today's video, we're going to talk about macros, micros, and IIFYM and what is all of that and how does it pertain to you. So let's start with macros. What are macros? Macros are short for macronutrients, which macro stands for slight, for larger, micro is smaller, okay? So the macronutrients and the things that we eat are going to be protein, carbs, and fats, and then alcohol has its own little category. So for every gram of protein you have, it's going to be four calories. For every gram of fat that you have is nine calories. For every gram of carbs you have is four calories. And then alcohol has its own, which is going to be seven calories per gram. Okay? So from there, we have micros. And micros stand for micronutrients. These are things that we need to include in our diet because they include vitamins, minerals, amino acids, trace elements, and other things that we need to include in our diet to have a holistic picture. Because if we have vitamin deficiencies, these tend to lead toward diseases or body malfunctions and things of that sort. Okay, next thing. What is IIFYM? IIFYM stands for if it fits your macros. Now, what the heck does this mean and how does this pertain to you? So if it fits your macros is a, is a different way to count calories is essentially what it is. So people are given an allocation for the number of grams of carbs they're allowed in a day, grams of fat, grams of protein. So IIFYM is just another way to structure your diet to make sure that you are having a variety of different things into your diet versus just eating um, just straight carbs all day or just straight fat or just straight protein. It's a way to help kind of give you a little bit more structure to your diet as a whole. Okay. Now something else that I really want to point out is that um, if you follow IIFYM or flexible dieting as some people like to call it, is it allows for what people call fun foods or what people sometimes consider if it fits your macros is, which is where you can have Oreos and ice cream and um, meals out with friends, whereas traditional meal plans or diets might not have any of that in there. And it's just a way to still hit your caloric goal for the day while including these foods. Now something that I really want to emphasize is that just because it fits in your macros does not mean you should be eating it, okay? You still need to be trying to include fruits and vegetables and complex carbs, which are potatoes and um, brown rice and uh, vegetables into your diet versus just straight candy and Oreos, okay? Um, because you have to find a way to get those micronutrients into your diet. If you're just eating just plain white rice, plain chicken, and you're just having a white potato, we're just gonna go really, really stereotypical here. Um, you're not really including any other types of sources for micronutrients into your diet. Yes, you're getting amino acids through the chicken per se, but if you're not having any green vegetables, if you're not having any other colors of vegetables like bell pepper, zucchini, um, yellow squash, um, or if you're not including any fruits like strawberries, blueberries, oranges, bananas, you're not providing opportunities to have a diverse source of vitamins and minerals and amino acids and trace um, minerals into your diet, okay? So please try to, I like to say, eat the rainbow every day. So try to diversify your sources into your diet every day so that way you are trying to eat everything in the rainbow and providing as many opportunities for different types of those micronutrients to come into your diet. Um, taking a multivitamin every day is a great way to supplement everything you're doing, but it should not be the only thing you're doing. It is meant to just help you fill in the gaps that you're not getting into your diet. It should not be your sole source of vitamins and minerals. Okay, um, another great thing of if it fits your macros is it helps you teach moderation. Okay, if you follow if it fits your macros and you try to include fruits and vegetables and lean proteins, it allows you to be able to fit those that glass of wine or something into your diet and it teaches you, it's another way to teach you moderation and how to have this over a long period of time. If you do this for a long period of time, eventually you're going to be able to 
kind of know what you're eating on a daily basis and not have to like weigh it out or track it or anything of that sort because you've just practiced it overall. Some other things I really just want to point out in this video is that a lot of people do not mention the amount of fiber that they're getting when they talk about if it fits your macros. It's important to actually make sure you're getting enough fiber every day because it helps your body to push things through its system. It helps to actually transport nutrients through the body. Um, you know, it just it just is an important thing a lot of people do not talk about. So make sure that you're trying to hit your daily grams of fiber. I believe that the standard statistic is 25 to 30 grams depending on your size. Um, so you need to be hitting that per day, not per week like some people, but per day. And eating whole fruit, whole foods like fruits and vegetables and lean meats are great ways to include that. Primarily the fruits and vegetables are your fiber sources, let me make that clear. Um, oats, things of that sort are great ways to do it, but you have to make an effort to include that into your diet. Uh, another thing that um, I see a lot is what are my starting macros? Where do I start? How do I figure out what these numbers are? So macros are a fancy way to count calories. So you need to figure out how many calories you're eating roughly in a day as it is right now. So if I really wanted to see where I'm at at this point in time, I would track what I'm eating every day for three or four days, and then I would take the average, and that would probably be my baseline for what I, my intake would be. I would also weigh myself those days that I'm tracking to see if my weight is fluctuating. If it is not fluctuating, then I'm probably eating at maintenance. If my weight is fluctuating, um, if I'm being consistent with my meal timing, whether it's fluctuating down or fluctuating up may dictate whether I'm in a surplus or a deficit, okay? But the goal is to find whatever amount you are eating where your weight is not fluctuating and that's going to be your baseline, okay? From there, you're going to determine how much fat, protein, and carbs that you're going to intake. Um, there's a common amount of ratios that you can figure out. Um, there's several different guidelines. You're going to have to play with it to figure out what works for you. I wish there was a straight and simple answer. You need to have this percentage of your intake be protein, this percentage of your intake be fat, and this percentage of your um, intake be carbs. But it is not that simple, and I wish it was, but it's just not. So the best thing you can do is try to just start with just a basic percentage, say maybe um, 20, 40, 40 in each of the categories per se with your um, fiber count being um, 25 to 30 gram. Or depending on what your ratios are um, in those three days that you're eating, it could be a starting point. So say if a primary um, amount of your diet is protein, then maybe you already know that it's takes up between 45 and 50 percent of your intake and do you really want that to be your primary um, macronutrient or is that how your body works most efficiently so once you've figured out what that baseline is you can then break down by the amount of protein that you're eating so they say one gram of protein per one point uh, not one point two point two pounds to one gram of protein uh, per pound of body weight i feel like that's a little bit excessive at times just depends on it, whether you are um, an athlete and you're lifting five, six days a week for multiple hours or not. If you're not, then probably steer toward closer to the one gram of protein per 2.2 pounds. And then you can take that amount of calories out of your total calorie hole, and then you can divide up um, what is left for fats and proteins. Please consider how much fat you are taking in because fats are required in order for your body to regulate hormones and hormones in your body generate hormones and also fat and carbs are necessary in order for your body to facilitate fat loss, okay? It's part of the Krebs cycle, which is a cycle that our body uses to facilitate energy production in our body, okay? So last thing I want to clarify before um, I wrap up this video is that if it fits your macros is a tool to help you figure out a lifestyle that works for you. It is not the only way to manage your lifestyle, it is just one way. So if, if it fits your macros does not work for you, then please try it many different ways so until you find something that works for you and that facilitates your lifestyle. It may, something else that might work for you is maybe, maybe planning out your meals throughout the week, working with a registered dietitian to figure out a good variety of meals throughout the day, or maybe the Mediterranean diet, or you get where I'm getting at. But try a couple different things but try to find something that you can do long-term and you can sustain, okay? Um, 
I am not one of those that's going to give up cake the rest of my life. I am just not one of those people. I'm not going to give up different types of food groups because I don't feel like that is a, a healthy or smart thing to do unless I have an allergy or a specific disease that it requires me to eliminate those types of food groups from my life. Um, so please try to be mindful and try to be holistic in your picture when determining what works for you and don't hesitate to try many different things for a couple months at a time until you find something that works for you, okay? If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will be sure to go through and answer as many of them, um, actually all of them, so that way I can help you through your journey. Um, last thing I want to talk about before I go is that if you plan on using, if it fits your macros, if you plan on using, if you plan on using, if it fits your macros for weight loss, you need to be eating less than your maintenance calories in order to lose weight. Or if you're planning to use, if it fits your macros in order to gain weight, you need to eat more macros than your maintenance calories are. So that's kind of how if it fits your macros works. I'm going to make a little PDF for you and put it in the description. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.